President Biden signed an executive order yesterday that blocks certain national security technologies and products in countries of concern, including China. Senior administration officials say that the order stems from national security goals rather than economic interests. So for more on this, I want to bring in CBS News senior White House correspondent Weijia Jang. Weijia, really good to see you. Um, so this is sort of part of an ongoing attempt to bring technology development back here domestically. What are some of the products that this executive order covers and why issue the order now? Well, the administration insists that this is a really narrow order. And as every country tries to enhance and continue to develop its military systems, this is aimed at making sure there are no U.S. dollars that are poured into China's efforts to do that. So we're talking about semiconductors, artificial intelligence, quantum computing. You can see here a statement from the White House says that advancements in sensitive technologies and products in these sectors will accelerate the development of advanced computational com capabilities that will enable new applications that pose significant national security risks. So in short, they are concerned that U.S. money is going to help China develop its military systems, and that's why they are deeming this a matter of national security and stressing, as you um, very rightly pointed out, that it has nothing to do with the economy. Of course, it is difficult to make that case when you are talking about investments. Okay, so I can understand somebody at home, Ouija, watching this thinking, okay, you're telling me it's a national security matter. I got it. Well, what about businesses? When the government starts saying this, what are U.S. businesses saying about how it might impact them? Well, so far, few businesses have been explicitly outspoken, but there is a U.S.-China Business Council that represents many of these businesses and investors um, that issued a statement to basically acknowledge their appreciation for the Biden administration um, watching out for these things and monitoring. But they also said that we hope the administration will make more progress with U.S. allies and partners to advance common interests to prevent an otherwise unilateral U.S. policy from disadvantaging American companies vis-a-vis -vis foreign competitors. And so baked into this statement is an acknowledgement that it could be detrimental, right? right? Because there, it's raising a lot of questions to David about, you know, the U.S. government playing a role in telling any private company where they can and cannot invest their money. Um, and so there is a period, though, of public comment. And so these companies will be allowed to give their input. Semiconductor companies will also be allowed to do the same thing. And so then as they develop these rules, they'll be taking into account all the um, concerns that some people have. Um, I should say, though, David, that there are plenty of Republicans who are speaking out against this, saying that it doesn't go far enough, that even mm. though it includes, um, you know, semiconductors, artificial intelligence, that it should go even further to include energy and biotechnology. And so, mm. you know, they are using this as an opportunity to say, hey, once again, President Biden is not being tough enough on China. We just so good to see you. Thanks for the report.